everyone gets tired sometimes of not playing at their best when playing Splatoon. Like, why do I have to go into my list and see that I lose games? I can't just win them all? Recently, Google took a stab at trying to fix this problem for a lot of people by letting you search stuff and learn about it around the internet. However, when you search for Splatoon, you don't get anything. I don't want to watch a video on how to get better at the game, I just want to read how to get better. So we're going to do the next best thing and go for the extremely accurate Google AI that will help us out to learn more about Splatoon 3. Like, honestly, I'm pretty tired of playing Machine all the time. I want to know the five most simplest, easiest to pick up weapons so I can get a little bit better at the game. Come out on top. I think we're off to a great start when the first thing they recommend is the Splattershot Pro. <laughs> also, the AI cheats. You pick a different draft and they give you two weapons in one option? Hey! Maybe I should be asking like what weapons to avoid instead. That, that might help me out. I think that's probably a little better. And this is where the bot falls apart. Immediately. Oh man, guys. I don't know about you, but I, I love playing Scoped Squiffer. All right. Oh, I, I think my game is broken, guys. The scope isn't scope isn't loading up here. Uh, let's go see what else they're talking about. I, I won't be mean to all the posts that the AI brings up, but this is just so bad. We've got H3 as a charger now. Tentabrella is suddenly short range. <laughs> the dually squelters are a shorter range than most duallys. Huh? One of the other drafts randomly turns Squeezer into Explo. <laughs> Hello? You have one glob of ink that turns into an explosion. Ooh, I might I might hit my shots eventually. Woo! But then I started thinking, can I ask the AI questions about these guys? We'll get it right? We can try something straightforward. Like, how many Splatfests has Fry won in Splatoon 3? This response was double-checked with Google search, so it has to be right. Oh no. <laughs> so confident about it too, based on Google. No! She's won one more than that. Two if you count Japan. Do you think she knows how badly she's being misrepresented out there? Oh, and she waves, unaware of the situation. I also tried asking it if it wanted to be on Team Shiver, Team Fry, or Team Big Man for Splatfest, and it started to stereotype the players. So then I asked it how it felt about Splatfest in general. Like, if it could pick some Splatfests, what would it want? And, uh... Uh, I mean, it, 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 it did its best. The first option is kind of making two Splatfests inside of one Splatfest. They're like, oh, pancake versus waffles versus pasta versus pizza. Guys, it's not how it works. This isn't real. I, I don't know about that one. Guys, do you want to listen to the amazing deep cut hit Anarchy Rainbow? Or are you more a fan of Anarchy Splat Bomb? Oh, not Sam and it's Smokeyard. Do you think the AI has any tips so I don't, like, lose immediately on this map? It's my least favorite Salmon Run map. Thank God. At least my Salmon Run worries are gonna be a thing of the past. I asked which is the, what, are the, what are the seven best weapons for Salmon Run, and immediately I get told the Grizzco Charger. This Salmon Run exclusive charger boasts impressive range and damage. It can one-shot most bosses, including Kozuna, making it a powerhouse for taking down high-priority targets. Wow. Wow, I think I'm gonna go play some Salmon Run right now and, and go use the Grizzco Charger. Rapid Flyer Slayer that excels at crowd control with its continuous stream of ink, which... I mean, like, it, it does shoot fast after you charge up, so we're like, you're like halfway there, it's all good. And then it tries to tell me that Dapple Dooleys aren't very strong against the bosses despite how crazy their fire rate is, and I was like, oh, no! Gemini, it's not too late. You can save yourself. And then they call 96 an ink efficient weapon. And I'm like, oh, right, we're moving on. Listen, maybe the robot can have some good opinions about Salmon Run. What does it think about this guy? What if I ask it how it feels about little Judd being a little, a little evil? I think this is the closest we've gotten to getting a silly opinion out of the AI. Because they say that his advice is a barrage of often unhelpful advice seen as a way to undermine Judd's authority. I... You can't even talk to Lil Judd in this game? What'd he do to you? Seeing as I was able to actually pull an opinion out of the Gemini AI, I thought to myself, what if we tried asking it some hard hitters? Like, 
maybe removing a weapon class from Splatoon? I, I don't think he would do it for us. Why, the YouTuber, they're very willing to do it. <laughs> In fact, they jump right to Chargers and they're like, um, actually, maybe we should remove Charger because it's kind of a skill issue. Highly skilled Charger users can dominate matches, creating frustration for some players. <laughs> I've never heard of somebody using a brush and getting the roll, like getting them stuck in a corner. Have you ever rolled with a brush and gotten yourself cornered on accident? Like just, you're running around and you just actually bink a corner. Oh, I'm running around with my brush. Oh, there's a corner. I'm not gonna do anything about it. Ah! You know, with that new season coming up though, I might not wanna play certain weapons that are probably gonna get nerfed. Maybe we can find out some info on what the AI thinks is gonna get nerfed soon. So the robot wa- so the AI wants to remove chargers and rushes, and it wants to nerf Ballpoint and Splatana Stamper. It's too busy still telling me about Salmon Run stuff, apparently, here for Ballpoint. I mean, like, I get it, I get it. It's, it's apparently the strongest Salmon Run weapon. <laughs> Ooh, the Forge Splattershot Pro. This variant boasts a faster fire rate than the standard Splattershot Pro making it a versatile weapon for close to mid-range combat. I gotta, I gotta see this one for myself. <laughs> All right, so we've been told the Forge Splattershot Pro is faster than the regular Pro. So let's just take a few shots here and, and see if we can really feel out that difference. All right, now let's go grab the Forge Splattershot Pro, which will be in about the same spot as the regular Splattershot Pro. And let's get to shooting again. Oh, and it's the same. That's so weird. I, I guess they must have made a typo or something like that. It's fine. I'm sure the rest of the advice will be better. I'm almost scared to scroll down. <laughs> oh, guys. Tri-Stringer has Crab Tank now. You see that? The fully charged Tri-Stringer Volley can be incredibly powerful, potentially splatting multiple enemies at once. Are you sure about that? However, the main point of contention is the Crab Tank special it unlocks. Wow. I like that it then goes on to just say, hey, we should nerf Crab Tank and not actually nerf the Tri-Stringer. All right, let's see option number five be Crab Tank. Let's just forget about weapons here. No, it's 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 just Rabbit Blaster Pro. <laughs> what happens if I say, uh, uh, list 10 Splatoon 3 weapons that should get nerfed. Is it gonna give me, it's gonna get worse? All right, Ballpoint, Splatana Stamper, Forge Pro, Tri-Stringer, Rapid Blaster. Hey, hey, um. <laughs> we've, we've already nerfed Machine, and on top of that, you can't burst cancel in this game. Dapple Dooleys again, we're talking about Salmon Run. I don't understand why they really think everything's got burst bombs. Machine has burst bombs. Nautilus has burst bombs. The the heavy splatling remix is now in Splatoon 3. Wow! I, I guess you know they must know something that we don't. That that June Nintendo Direct where they announced like the Sheldon picks, which hasn't happened yet. I, I guess they must be ahead of the, the game on that one. Wow. Well, how good the robot is at figuring out Splatoon 3's problems, do you think they know? Is Splatoon 3 a laggy game? <laughs> Splatoon 3 can experience lag, and it's a common topic of discussion amongst players. And then it just kind of tells you what lag is, so... <laughs> However, what I noticed at the bottom is they said, Oh guys, Splatoon 3 has received updates that attempt to mitigate the lag. They apparently tell us how laggy each player is. The game displays icons that indicate connection quality for each player. Wow, that's news to me. Given how laggy the game is, I decided to ask it to write a poem about DCs in Splatoon 3, and I could say that I think, I think that my job is safe. A silent terror strikes with dread. The dreaded words, connection lost are said. If Gemini keeps talking about Dread this much, maybe they're gonna want to remove Dreadwinger from the game next. <laughs> well, now that we know that Little Judd is evil, the game is laggy, and weapons need to get removed, why don't we try adding something new? 
what does it think about adding a new kind of mode? What, what do you think its suggestions would be? So I asked it, describe a new mode to be added to Splatoon 3 in a future update and explain how to win the mode. So we've got five minute turf war, multiple floors to go up and down on, and the ability to attack opponents from below, it seems. It says special weapons can be crucial for claiming turf on high ground. Yeah, I'm just gonna run Ink Strike. Like, how wide is this tower platform? Like, can I just do this and just catch people off guard no matter where they are? Uh... But at least we've got movement abilities like squid rolls and super jumps to navigate the tower's different levels. I mean, I, 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 get, I get what they're saying here. They're saying you could probably like super jump to teammates, but I want to imagine they've created their own like extra ability called super jump. Well guys, there you go. Better enjoy your brushes while you can because when vertical turf war gets added in, these bad boys are just gonna get deleted because what are they gonna do? Run around and go into a corner and then not be able to climb up the rest of the tower? Yuck! Thank you for watching. I'm gonna go enjoy some regular turf war while I still can. Bye bye! Ooh, ooh, here's a good one to search up. Um, why should you subscribe to Vicvion? Oh yes, because of all of my awesome weapon guide victionaries that I definitely have done since 2020. Hmm. <laughs> ooh hoo hoo!